Before this video, I just want to give a brief thank you to every person that has shown some love on this channel. Whether you simply watched, or you left a like, a comment, a dislike, any kind of interaction really, I'm all about it. You know, um, this morning, at least where I live this morning, uh, we hit a hundred subscribers on this channel and, you know, like a month ago, I seriously had like 30, maybe 20. It'd be cool if I get like one subscriber this week and now I'm getting like five, six a day sometimes. I mean, that's pretty crazy stuff. Like, wow. Thank you. Seriously. From the bottom of my little black heart, thank you guys. You guys are cool people. Now, let's get into this build. This is the Ironbreaker Drake Gun build. So, brief comments about Ironbreaker. His passive ability, Gromril Armor, completely absorbs one hit every 20 seconds. His career skill, Impenetrable. He taunts everyone around him, and they can only, they're forced, they're basically forced to attack Barton for 10 seconds. He also gets increased defense and can block any attack. He's Dwarf Forged, he gets 30% reduced damage. He's Doughty gets an extra stamina shield, resilient, 50% uh, decreased stun duration, dude's a freaking tank. Now for this build, your melee weapon of choice doesn't really matter, because it's not about that. It's about the Drake gun, so I'm just going to go with the classic axe and shield for my melee weapon. So, Rockbreaker, staggering enemies, if you want to do dual hammers, um, he's got killing blows too, so either, either one of these would work for the dual hammers. Um, but Axe and Shield, definitely Rockbreaker, the way you want to go. And then down here, uh, Drakey Wrath, or Drakey Wrath, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Um, increases attack power of the Drake Fire weapons by 30%, increases overheat generated by 30%. So you can already see where I'm going for this. I'm going all out with my Drake Gun. Max damage, max danger to myself. Perfect. This is exactly what I want. And down here, you might be thinking, oh, maybe use Smiter, maybe use Bulwark for the Shield. No! Screw that, we're using enhanced power. Increases total power level by 7%. This basically equates to a 10% increase in damage across the board. For melee, for range, just literally gives you more damage for the Drake Gun. That's the whole purpose of this. Um, down here, uh, I use Gromril Curse. When Gromril Armor is removed, all nearby enemies are knocked back. So when you take that hit that does no damage, that he absorbs every 20 seconds, Everybody flies back, all right? So this is good if you're surrounded and you got the Drake gun out and you need to like cool down real quick or you need to charge it up real quick. Everybody gets knocked back. You get a few seconds to f mess around with the thing and burn everybody. Um, you also have Ironbreaker's Resolve, uh, Increased Stamina Regen, Tunnel Fighter. You know, these are all great, but not for this. For this, we are all about the Drake gun. So Gromril Curse, the way to go. Uh, down here, you know, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, with the Exit Shield, I obviously wouldn't go for the Rolling Mountain. I go with Miner's Rhythm, because it's my whole way I play with the Exit Shield. just all charge attacks, so I'm going to want that 40% uh, more stamina recovery faster all the time. Um, this one's not bad either, where his guard gets broken, 50% stamina is restored instantly. Pretty decent. And then down here also really doesn't matter. During Barazi Oath, pretty solid talent if you have a good DPS squad. Um, Impenetrable increases the power of allies by 20% for 10 seconds. I believe this applies to you as well. I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, so that could be something for a little extra damage on that Drake gun. Um, I'm partial to Oi Wazik. You can taunt monsters. Um, this does not work for lords, I believe. You just kind of have to throw a grenade at a lord to get them to hit you. And then Booming Taunt, also a pretty decent one. You just get a bigger radius on the taunt. You can't taunt monsters, but you can taunt more uh, hordes of enemies. And for the equipment, like I said, Accent Shield, I go for attack speed, block cost reduction, off balance, pretty standard stuff for this. For the Drake Gun, I go for uh, Powers Chaos, Infantry. You know, you can kind of swap out here. You can go uh, Chaos and Skaven. You can go Chaos and Armored. You can go Skaven and Armored. There's a couple combinations you can do. It's not really that rigid for this. But I like Chaos and Infantry because it's just, this is a horde clearing kind of weapon. Chaos guys, they have more health. Infantry counts as like all the little guys from Skaven and Chaos. You kind of double up there. Pretty good stuff. And then for the uh, trait down here, you absolutely 
must have barrage for these fire weapons, man. Barrage is so good. Consecutive attacks against the same targets boost attack power by 5% for 5 seconds. So, with the Drake gun, you're going to be burning everything like constantly. So, you're going to have this proc at max all the time. Um, you know, it sadly, for some reason, doesn't show up when you test it out on the dummies, but if you use it in game and you use it in the modded realm, it'll work. I promise you, it will work. It does work. Um, and it's super nice. You do a buttload of damage with this. And then, uh, necklace, I go health, block cost reduction. You can do stamina here. Make a little block cost reduction here. Or stamina, stamina, if you really want all that stamina. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, health, absolutely. Bark skin, absolutely. For the tank class, this guy doesn't die with bark skin. He dies even less. It's somehow, it's amazing. Uh, down here for the charm, I go powers chaos, attack speed, like I said, just extra damage to chaos for this, for this, for everything. Attack speed for the shield, decanter, you know, he's probably not going to be carrying potions that often, but if you happen to run into a purple one, you can use it, and it'll bring his two minute cooldown to zero seconds, and you can taunt whatever, and you can buff your allies, you can do whatever you want. And then the trinket, like I said, I, I always say this, but I never change this. Curse resistance, crit chance, shrapnel, absolutely the most perfect combination for a trinket, I think. Um, curse resistance for the Grims, crit chance for extra damage for everything, uh, and shrapnel, great for monsters, great for patrols. 20% increased damage when you hit something with a grenade. Any kind of enemy. It can be a lord, it can be a monster can be a rat any kind of rat you know beastman whatever doesn't matter 